All right guys, welcome back to Ultimate Learning and we're back again with another video. And today I'm still playing with the liquid nitrogen. I've got a little bit left before I take the dewer back. Um, so I wanted just to show you guys something that hopefully you've never seen before. Now in our previous video, we've learned that nitrogen is all around us. It's about 78% of the atmosphere. And I've shown you guys lots of experiments with liquid nitrogen. If we can cool the nitrogen in the air to about minus 197, then we get liquid nitrogen. Now, if we can cool it even further to about minus 210, then we get solid nitrogen. Now, that's a really, really cold temperature, but there's another way that we can get liquid nitrogen to solidify. And I can do that by reducing the pressure. And that's exactly what I've got here. So right here, we've got a vacuum chamber and I've got a pump. Uh, the vacuum chamber is connected to the pump by this tube. And when I turn the vacuum chamber on, it's going to remove all the air from this chamber, in a sense, you know, making it a vacuum. And what that does is reduces the pressure. Now, when the pressure's low enough, that liquid nitrogen can solidify. So take a look guys, and we're gonna turn some liquid nitrogen into solid nitrogen. So I'm gonna pour the liquid nitrogen into my double walled glass here there you go We've got a nice okay so now that the nitrogen stopped boiling I'm going to place it into the vacuum chamber and we're going to switch it on. So as you turn on the pump and you start removing the air from that vacuum chamber, you are actually reducing the number of air particles inside the, the chamber. Now what that does, that reduces the pressure, which makes it a lot easier for the nitrogen molecules to leave the liquid. Now what happens is all of the fast moving nitrogen molecules, they leave first leaving behind all the slower moving nitrogen molecules. So the average kinetic energy of the liquid nitrogen starts to drop. As the average kinetic energy decreases, so does its temperature, causing the liquid nitrogen to freeze. I'm just gonna let the air back in and increase the pressure and just see what happens. There we go guys, it turns back into a liquid. And 
look, if I take the glass out, it's got all misty because some of the water vapor from the air has solidified and condensed on the wall of that glass. But we've just learned, guys, a very quick, very quick video for you guys today, but we've learned that you don't have to heat a liquid uh, to make it boil. You could just reduce the pressure, making it easier for those faster molecules to leave, and that reduces the temperature of the liquid. All right, see you again for another one.